and we are first year anthropology students. So we're running as a team because uh, as a pair we can achieve twice as much and also will be more accessible. And most importantly, women as a political category does not have a single face. As two individuals from different backgrounds, we, we aim to accommodate top identified women with various interests and from various backgrounds. So number one on our agenda is to make SOAS a safe, uh, safe place for all self-identifying women. To do that, we're going to work closely with the NUS uh, Women's Network and also uh, <laughs> we're going to have a self, having a self-identifying women's spaces are very crucial for us and we're, to achieve that we're going to have weekly office hours and also informal monthly social gatherings so we can discuss ideas and that also um, start a dialogue between us as women's officers and also self-identifying women. And we, want, <laughs> we want to create a women's parents carers network and to do this we want to work closely with the disabled mature student and carriers officers and also for us toilets are not political neutral we need more gender neutral toilets and we need clean sanitary products and the second point on our agenda is intersectionality a simplified explanation of this is that paraphrasing Audrey Lord, we don't have single issue struggles and that different power dynamics such as gender, race, sexuality, class, um, disability, etc. all intersect with each other from diverse in experiences. <laughs> so some of the practical stuff that we're going to do is host events addressing the experiences of women marginalized within the mainstream feminist movements and also events that challenge the hegemonic masculinities, work closely with all SOAS societies to challenge the internal sexism and also collaborate on events and also last but not least, fight their racialized and genderist curriculum. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to finish with Audrey Rothman. Time, time, so.